This prehistoric looking species of male was born 40 million years ago. Since then, the male has nearly always been suspended. Diego Costa might not have been the most technically gifted of footballers, even as a Brazilian, but he could impact a game like no other. The intensity and passion, partnered with his uncanny ability to get under the skin of his opponents, made him a feared number nine and an unforgettable character. Despite being born in Lagarto, Brazil, Diego Costa was actually named after Argentinian legend Diego Maradona. Unfortunately, his name alone didn't help, as he wasn't good enough for his hometown club. So at 15, he moved to Sao Paulo, where he worked in his uncle's store and joined a team in the south of the city. It was here where he turned professional and began to make a name for himself, between scoring goals and slapping opponents. He caught the attention of Portuguese super agent George Mendes, who offered him a contract at Braga. He would only spend a year in Portugal before Atletico Madrid gambled on the inexperienced 19-year-old, signing him for 1.5 million euros in 2007. But before getting a chance in the first team, he would get to tour Spain, with loans to Celta Vigo and Albacete, and a single season transfer to Valladolid, making a mark wherever he went. He scored 24 goals across three seasons and was sent off six times, from fighting opponents to berating referees to even winding up his own teammates. He became known around the clubhouse as that f***ing Brazilian. He made his way back to Madrid in 2010, backing up Sergio Aguero and Diego Forlan, and he provided 10 goal contributions in the league. Injury struck in 2011, preventing him from joining Turkish side Besiktas, so instead he spent half a season at Rayo Vallecano, racking up 10 league goals in just 16 appearances. The following season he was finally given a proper chance, and repaid Diego Simeone's faith with 21 goal contributions in the league, and 8 goals in their victorious Copa del Rey run, edging out Real Madrid in the final. It's also worth mentioning that he began to play for the Spanish national team during this time, despite having played in friendly matches for Brazil previously. But back to club level, Costa was the perfect striker for Simeone's bad boy Atletico side, and the 25-year-old really showed out in the following season, scoring 36 goals in all competitions, and leading Atletico to their first La Liga title since 1996. They finished runners-up to Real Madrid in the Champions League, as Chelsea would be the club to trigger his £32 million release clause. He wasted no time upon arriving at the training ground, gathering the team leaders to say two short sentences in English that Oscar had helped him learn. I go to war, you come with me. This is what made Costa as successful as he was. He played as if his life depended on the victory. If you want to speak about Diego Costa with me, is just to say he played like he has to play. And that's why you have full stadiums, you sell to televisions all around the world for millions and millions, because the game has to be played like that. His tendency to win games in whichever way possible made up for his lack of ability to speak English as he spoke to the fans through his actions on the pitch. And again, despite the language barrier, he became one of the Premier League's biggest characters. I just think Diego is the funniest just because of the way he does it and how he does it, uh, because at the same time he doesn't speak English, the way he tries to, to speak to people or to contact with them, with John Terry, Capitano. His name is Capitano. He doesn't, maybe, I don't know if he, even if he knows his name, like, you know, <laughs> he doesn't know how to pronounce it, so that's it, Capitano. Donning the number 19 jersey, he scored 20 goals in his first season in the Premier League as he led Jose's men to the title. They were also successful in the League Cup, with Diego scoring in the final. Along with the goals also came disciplinary issues, receiving a three-match ban for stamping on Emre Chan. But the good certainly outweighed the bad, and even Premier League defenders enjoyed Costa's old-school style of play. So he would just start, he'd just run into her, but then you'd give it back to him, and I just remember referees going, He you? probably enjoyed it too, didn't he? Oh, but the referee go, you happy? I go, yeah. And he goes, you happy? I go, yeah. And he goes, well, it's <laughs> <laughs> While there were those who saw his playstyle as dirty, it won't surprise you that Jose Mourinho was not one of them. Diego Costa? <sighs> Animal, but <laughs> but positive. A warrior. Love that. Diego, a warrior. Unfortunately, Jose lost trust in his players and the relationship that had won them the title broke down the following season. Costa did score 12 times in that disastrous campaign, with his unsavory antics continuing as well. You remember the one time he rolled back onto the pitch after being injured to, to stop the play? <laughs> right, it's absolutely beautiful. That was good. In came Antonio Conte, a no-nonsense Italian coach who will never back away from being direct. And while these are qualities that made Costa stay, the love didn't last long, as the two would eventually butt heads. But it started well, and the goals were flowing. But Diego wasn't afraid to publicly challenge the manager. I remember Diego Costa coming into the touchline, shouting 
shouting at Conte and pointing at me on the mic. I was warming up. Put Cisk on! Fabregas! Fabregas! And you know Conte, Conte, Conte is not the manager that you, you, you mess with, you know, like this. And Conte was pretending he was not listening to him, you know, like two minutes later, Cesc, come. And two minutes later, Cesc asks to Diego Costa 1-0, we win. Uh, you know, so it was, it was amazing. There was a chance for him to leave to China in January, but he chose to stay. It turned out to be a good decision, as he would claim his second Premier League medal and would reach 28 goal contributions in the league. By the start of the following season, it was clear his time at Chelsea was up. Diego Costa has had a lot to say uh, this week. He feels that he's been treated like a criminal. He must return to Atletico Madrid. He's taken Chelsea to Silva. They're wrong. Are you he returned to Atletico, but would never reach the same goal-scoring heights as he did before. He would win the Europa League in 2018 and La Liga again in 2021. His career would take him to Brazil and then to England and finally back to Brazil, leaving a trail of goals and red cards behind him. You know how I stayed alive this long, all these years? Fear. The spectacle of fearsome acts. Somebody steals from me, I cut off his hands. He offends me. Cut out his tongue. He rises against me. I cut off his head, stick it on a pike. Raise it high up so all on the streets can see. That's what preserves the order of things. Fear. A master of the dark arts. He may not be remembered as one of the best strikers ever, but he will almost certainly be remembered as an iconic character. <laughs>